Good morning, everybody. It's not morning. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Smiling Rainbow Unicorn of Doom. I'm Thomas. I'm Joe. I'm Marquez. All right. So, I'd like to start off today with a very special... I'm going to do two shout-outs, one right now and then one uh, during the next break, but shout-out to my dad. My dad is... Um, it is his birthday today. <laughs> Say happy birthday, Dad. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Daddy Thomas. I was going to show it to him, but now I'm, I guess I won't. <laughs> well, that's how I refer to people's parents, if I'm, like, close with them. Why? <laughs> why Why is that something you do? Like, if I like, I have a friend named Reeves, and I just call her his mom, Mama Reeves. Oh, that's different. That's different than Daddy Thomas. Well, what? Da- Dada Thomas? It's, just, it's, like, the same thing. Papa Thomas? I guess Papa Thomas. Papa Thomas, Papa yeah. Thomas, that's what I do. yeah. There's, a di- there's a distinct difference between Papa Thomas and Daddy Thomas. Okay, I'll call Papa Thomas. Daddy Thomas is my nickname that's in high name, school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so happy birthday, Dad. I won't say what, what he's turning uh, on air because I'm sure he wouldn't want me to, but uh, happy birthday. He also shares the um, a birthday with the cosmic um, ritual of the Puxatani Phil um, ascending from his hole getting scared by a bunch of flashing lights and then running back into his hole and everybody thinks that that means winter's coming or what like what it's the remember the the groundhog day it's like the if the groundhog comes out of the hole and then stays there that means winter's coming and if he goes back into his hole that means summer's gonna or spring's gonna come closer or something like that but it's like if you have about 50 people all flashing cameras at a groundhog i bet you it's probably gonna go back into its hole like but i was actually i was listening to shoot uh, there's a local radio station here, uh, 92.9, the Lakeland's Classic Country. And um, they were talking about this ceremony and how there, you can, like, it's basically just, it's almost like, do you guys know what Masons are? Yes, I know what a Mason is. It's basically like this, like, fraternity thing. And it's the same thing. It's not the Masons, but it's the same type of thing with these people who do this ceremony for the Groundhog's Day. Like, there's a shoot. What was the... What was one of the titles? Maybe they were being dumb. I don't remember. Or they were making fun of it. But there was some, like, position called, like, the Shingle Man or the Shingle Shaker or something like that. Like, there is... And all it costs, apparently, and I want to test this out, is apparently it's, like, just a 50 bucks to join the club and then a $15 yearly fee <laughs> just to join the club and possibly get a chance to meet the man, the myth, the legend himself, Puxatani Phil. I'm more interested in the Shingle Master. The Shingle, you want to be the Shingle Master? Yeah, Maybe they just made that up, but they kept saying it, so I don't know exactly what that was about. But today's today, we're going to be talking about how much we've changed. I was looking through, and I'm going to start off with this if I can find it. I was looking through, so over the over winter break, I cleaned out most of my house. Um, we're not moving; we're just getting ready to move later on in the future um when you have like a 50 year old house you just want to make sure you just want to get out of it as soon as you can but um we were so i was looking through my closet i was throwing out a bunch of clothes i don't wear anymore or that don't fit me and i saw this um it was a pringles tube like a pringles can but like the not the metal ones like the plastic ones Mm -hmm. um and i had i Okay, this is going to be interesting. But I, I don't have a picture of it. Basically, it's this very strange, and I'll explain myself, and I'm not a horrible person, I promise, when I say this. Basically, we were at a church camp. That's not me being a horrible person. <laughs> church camp. We were at a church camp. It was like my neighbor's church was doing some, like, basically vacation Bible school, if you know what that is. Yeah. Um, and we went to this place. Like, it was my neighbor's church. It wasn't my church. And they were like, yeah, we were doing this thing. I was in fifth grade. And or fourth grade, I don't remember. And there, there, I don't remember what the theme was or anything like that. I just remember we were like donating. It was like a shoe drive, like donating shoes to children in Africa. Um, and I remember I got really scared because I thought I was going to have to take off the shoes that I was wearing and give it to <laughs> give it to the church. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to walk home with socks on. But there, one of the you go you set, go off into different groups and you do your little activities. You play on the playground, whatever. And then we made these tubes. We got these Pringles cans. And we duct tape, we decorate them with like colored duct tape. So it's very interesting. And I pl- 
please do not cancel me for what I'm about to say. So on the shaft, on the on the, the main long part of the Pringles can, yeah, I did a rainbow design. I was like, I didn't know what like of course in fifth grade or four, fourth or fifth grade, I was like, oh, it's a rainbow. I don't, I don't, I didn't know what it meant. I wasn't gay. I like, I, I don't know, but so I did a rainbow. <laughs> Still not. I don't know. <laughs> just thought, ladies, I just thought I'd point that out. I am not in fact gay, but. So I did a rainbow on the top, and then, and Marquez, I'm sorry, on the lid, I did, 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 I put a Confederate flag because (laughs) I had no idea what that meant. All I knew is that people in my neighborhood or people around me had this thing, and I thought it looked cool, so I put it on the lid. (laughs) No, and I, so I, I'm not a horrible person, I promise. I didn't understand what that meant at the time. I don't think I understood. That's a whole different discussion. But Man, I, don't think, imagine, like, I don't think I understood what that meant until like middle school. So. Working at the church and being like, oh, this kid's good. Wait, what? Like, <laughs> just like, I'm so confused. I got a high five for it. No, I didn't. But <laughs> okay, so I, I should just point that out. It's, it's funny. I'm not a horrible person. I'm not racist. I don't think. Do you do you have the can? You don't think? I, I have. I still have the can. Yeah. Okay. Not with me, but. Well, do you, do you have like the papers and stuff? I have the. I took a picture of the okay, paper. Okay, okay. So the paper. Uh, yeah. So the paper. So this was August second, two thousand eleven. So not, not, nine years yet. Um, so this, it, but I didn't want to wait till August second. So, okay. It says I am in fifth grade. That is not true anymore. I'm in, fourteenth grade. <laughs> sure. I, I wear a oh. size. What? I said glow up. <laughs> I wear a size nine shoe, which is also not true. I wear a size 13 and a half. Um, really? I live in Greenville. And that I still live in Greenville. Why did, why did, when I said I wear a 13 and a half, why is that what, like, uh, you've got an I expression know, just, on that's your just face? It's large. Feet, oh, you want, you want to hear something weird? If it's about your feet, no, I don't. It's not about my feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, who's so our good, so our good friend, um, our, our, our roommate, um, Jackson, he actually had. Because we were talking about it one day, and I had said, oh, I have a thir- 13 and a half feet. You know what size shoe he had? No. He had a 15 size foot. Dude, I'm 10 and a half. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. crazy. I think my feet are, like, slightly bigger than yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, white boy. Um, the So, yeah, I just thought that was funny. But my best friend is, I won't say his name, but that is not the case anymore. Um, after we went to the same high school, we just, that's a long story, but... All right, my favorite color is purple. Is uh, no, that's not my favorite color anymore. No. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite color, honestly. <laughs> I like all colors. Except for... No. Um, <laughs> my favorite... Oh, no. My favorite book. Do you guys remember the... Um, the... Animorphs book series? <laughs> yeah, I never read them, but I'm familiar with them. So it's, you know those like those pictures online where it, like show someone gradually turning from a human to like a rat or something. Oh my god! <laughs> that was the book series that it was based off of, and I read almost all of those books. The ending is actually very sad. Like most of them die, which is really fascinating. I never actually ended up in fifth grade when I was reading these books, which mm-hmm. is probably I probably should have been reading at a higher level at fifth grade. Those books are more for third graders. But in fifth grade, I remember I read half of the final book because the final book half of it had been ripped out it was like my teacher had it um so i that happened and like half of the people died in it and i was like wow um and they were like i'm sure they were in college at this point from the story but it was a spinoff series a spinoff book like actual novel like most of the books are like this big this one was like an actual novel and i still Mm -hmm. own it i still have it in my room somewhere the hork bajir chronicles it was this fascinating story basically it tells the perspective of they basically it's like these kids are fighting this alien race and it tells the perspective of an alien of a defector from that alien race so it's actually structurally it's a good book i don't know how it would hold up me reading it now my favorite restaurant is rafferty's that's a restaurant in greenville and it does not exist anymore it burnt down and they just never rebuilt it it still exists there's still one in tennessee but my favorite oh no my favorite Political faction. Uh, <laughs> the uncle. <Fifth> <laughs> like My favorite political movement, Brexit. No. Um, <laughs> my favorite activities, 
are drawing. I used to draw a lot. I don't think I think I was good for a fifth grader, but not like yeah. Good. I, I was in that same boat where like I was I was probably, probably not better as good than as the me, average. Yeah. I was probably better than the average for a long time, but like I never got better at it. Yeah. So then I fell behind the curve. Yeah. Now I can I can draw a mean stick figure though, That's and a cool. nice and a nice stick figure too. <laughs> that was so stupid, but he got <laughs> My favorite sport is basketball. Also not the case. I don't really play sports, but I watch football a lot. Um, my favorite... This is sad that it hasn't changed. My, my favorite movie is Star Wars. That it hasn't changed. Um, my favorite pizza... Or my favorite food is pizza. That's probably changed now. I think I like wings better, but I've grown up. Oh, my God. My favorite song is Pinball Wizard by The Who. That is interesting. It's not even a really good song. <laughs> I don't. I don't recognize it i i might play it if, if i can find it but and then and then my signature which wasn't a signature that is not a signature at all <laughs> was it just like your name like written out in print it was curly okay yeah <laughs> so and that got me to think all right well what how, how have we changed all right they don't have pinball wizard on here but um how have we changed because i've changed quite a bit my handwriting has only marginally improved as I, as I can tell. Um, so how have you guys changed, right? So obviously we're not in fifth grade anymore. So we've had a lot of experiences, a lot of, yeah, a lot of, we've had a lot of experiences, a lot of changing. I'm sure I'm, I was more, I was insanely different from my freshman year of high school to my senior year of high school. I've, I'm much different than I was when I first got to Lander versus now. Um, <laughs> Why are you nodding? Like, yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about something completely irrelevant, too. Okay, okay. So, what was your favorite color? What was your favorite color in fifth grade, Marquez? I don't even know who oh, that is. Red. Is it still red? No. What is it now? It's like uh, I call it like chartreuse. A, no, I call it like a galaxy purple. I don't know like the actual name for it. I can envision what you mean. Yeah. Like a bluish purple. Yeah, something like that. Probably like eighty percent purple, like twenty percent blue, and like kind of dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You lost me with the numbers, but um. <laughs> no, I, I can I can totally envision. It. Yeah, it's, it's really it's just really pretty to me. Okay. Why don't you have a shirt like it? Because I. You know what? That color. You know I how I. You know how I figured out I was an adult, when I realized I have a favorite color. And I have a favorite color to wear. <laughs> there are two Me different too. things. <laughs> like, my favorite color to wear is probably white. But my favorite color is, like, orange, so. Well, orange is kind of an ugly color to wear. No, I, I wouldn't wear orange. <laughs> my favorite color... I probably had my favorite color change a lot. My favorite color probably back then was orange. Um... Now my favorite color is like a very natural green, you know, kind of dark. Mm -hmm. My favorite color to wear is blue because uh, I have been told I look good in blue, and yeah. I live to please. I have been told I look good in blue too because I guess we have bluish Probably eyes. Probably not as good as me. Probably not, but um, <laughs> but I still you still suck at drawing, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the um. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, for the next <laughs> for the next thirty minutes, we're just gonna stare at each other. Um, shoot, I had. <laughs> <laughs> something I was going to say. Um, we were talking about colors. We were talking about colors. Um, no, colors you wear? Anyways. <laughs> I mean, I like to, I just wear black because I'm lazy and it matches with everything. Yeah. No, I mean, that makes yeah. sense. But I've, I've been told that I look better in like a yellow kind of shirt. Real? Uh, that's interesting. I've heard, I've heard it said that the only people that can pull off yellow well as black people which is i think is true i think you guys i think you guys i think you you, you, guys, I, think, you. I think you people you know i think you specifically look very good in yellow i can't remember the last time i've seen you wear yellow uh i actually have a shirt if you what size shirt do you wear i wear like a large okay i have a shirt that you can totally have remember uh if you look it's been washed of course mm -hmm. you remember it doesn't fit me anymore it's from um if you look at the old pictures from the um xlr bowling trip we had last year mm -hmm. um i'm wearing this bright yellow shirt that has a smiley face on it you are welcome to have it if you, this is the only yellow shirt i own i like smiley faces i will get it for you when i go back this weekend so yes well you are the smiling and the smiling everybody that is true that is very true i think you, i think you could rock it but yeah so i just i just was looking through that and i was like well how much have we changed physically right obviously i've changed a little bit since i was in fifth grade physically um 
just in I, I grew a lot like in I stopped growing in high school for so from like fourth grade to high school um, I had I went through several pairs of shoes a year because I was just growing through them um, but I would also wear them until I literally couldn't anymore like they, my feet would be out of them and then if they f- finally would not stay on my feet I would stop wearing them yeah which I'll show you an example of that later but so we, we're, in a, we're in a group chat right now, and we're just going to text each other pictures. So here's me. Well, Joe and I are going to text each other pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, just, we'll start with baby pictures. So okay, this baby. is I, one of the first pictures I can remember. I'm so glad I sent that. To, I almost sent that to someone else. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have baby pictures. Yep. I have baby pictures of my brother, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I mean... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this picture is actually so spiffy. So I don't know if you guys got that picture, but that's me on the right. And I have, like, you can see, it's not, doesn't show up well in the picture. Because this is a picture taken of a picture frame. Um, is that you can see I have this, like, cut on my head. And a lot of, and that's my sister next to me. And a lot of my picture, my early pictures have, um, this, I have a big cut on my head. Mm-hmm. Because I would trip and fall. I probably had a huge head. And, like, my center of gravity is changing every single day. Um, and a lot of my pictures, this is still something I deal, well, not deal with, but so, like you can see my smile. Um, I don't know why, but when I was born, part, part of my lip is, is, is paralyzed, so I can't move it. So whenever I smile, it's that crooked, like my lip doesn't move when I smile, or part, half of my lip doesn't move when I, when I smile. Is that still the case now? Oh, okay. It, it doesn't, yeah. I don't know that, though. I know. The funny thing is, I was like, one time I was talking to my girlfriend at the time we've been dating for almost two years and i mentioned it and she was like i did not know that and i was like i guess it's not noticeable it uh-huh. was i'm sure i was self-conscious about it when i was younger but now i don't care it just caught the only thing it caused me was i, was, I lisped i had a lisp for a while but i've mostly gotten over that i say as i just said i mostly got <laughs> <laughs> what is what is taking you so long <laughs> it's, it's it's just sending i don't know i don't have did you get the message. picture that i yeah, I, 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 got, I got the one you sent. I, don't know. I didn't get it. My handsome boy. And, and, and the one that is eventually coming, uh, I'm... I'm just like yeah, here, sure. I can I can at least show you for a second. Oh, I'm, I'm spiffy yeah. looking. I've got this I've got this nice uh, plaid shirt on. I'm leaning over the bench. You know, I've got this... <laughs> you were posing? Uh, I think I was trying to climb oh, on the man. bench, but it looks... Yeah, no, it's solid. It's That's a black and white. That's a, you got that, like, frost filter on, too. Yeah, I was... I was That's absolutely cold. Absolutely a legend. <laughs> that was the peak of my, my fashion career. That's funny that, like, I, I I saw this, and I didn't know this was a thing, but, like, obviously, parents probably want to dress their kids up, do some weird photos, like, some cute, what they think is cute. Do you guys, are you aware of the um child stew photo thing? Where, like, they'll literally, they won't turn it on, but they'll literally put a child, like, in a pot, and, like, it'll be like, ha we're making it, like. Yeah, sure. I, was, no. I just saw that when I started dating this one girl, and I went to her house, and I was like, what is what is that? <laughs> she was like, "That's that's the fun. It's a funny picture." I was like, "Is it funny?" <laughs> They're making little yeah, children so gumbo. <laughs> children, I have children I gumbo. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I'll <laughs> screenshot this one and send it, but there, I have a photo of me next to a Halloween pumpkin, and for some reason, I just look miserable. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my dad commented and said, "What an awesome sad face." I have no idea why he was so sad about this. <laughs> so. It's strange. The idea, of the concept of pumpkins is really upsetting. Oh, you look so sad. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. And I have one more picture to show from my youth. I want to frame this one. Which one? Let me see. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna send it. Okay. Uh, this one is from. I don't. It's, I was older, but I don't know how much old. Not that much older. Like my sister had hair now. <laughs> um, that's me and my little. I got a little jumper. It has. I don't. What is that? Trains? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I can't tell what it is, but yeah, I was sucking my thumb like a legend. Um, I did that until I was probably seventeen. Uh, no, but <laughs> oh man, yeah, I want to frame this bad boy. Man, you Get you me. were a fashionable kid. Yeah, I mean, I'm that was definitely my choice. I like yeah, of course. I like to wear those things when I was. <laughs> There's some. <laughs> well, here's here's the sad thing, an important thing. None of those pictures are coming to my phone. Oh, okay. Well, uh, no, they really, they're really not. Do you down. have airplane mode on? I do not. Look at you. Yeah, yeah he was a fashionable dude. Uh, Spiffy Joe. I'll see if I can find a couple that are uh, older. All right. Well, we we're gonna wait. We're gonna 
go on a little bit of a music break and then we will be back in a few minutes and we'll send all these pictures and we'll talk about it later but see you guys in a minute all right welcome back everybody to the smiling rainbow unicorn of doom and before we get right back into uh, our topic today i just wanted to give a little shout out to my cousin justin he is turning 30 uh next week so happy birthday justin everybody say happy birthday justin happy birthday happy justin happy birthday justin the yeah. big 30 oh. big 30 oh. whoop whoop so i just want to say happy birthday man i know it's been a little weird we haven't been able to see each other this year because of everything that's going on but i hope to be able to come to your wedding um hey. congratulations to you and your lovely fiance allison happy birthday man so now we're going to get right back into our topic so 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 so, so, so. if you can see <laughs> So, if you can see right here in the picture I, I just sent last, I don't know if it's like a... So, basically, we only did this, like, once, but we were, like, we had a family beach trip. So, like, a me, my cousins, my grandparents, and, and my uncles and aunts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, there were probably, like, 20-something of us. No, there was, like, 18 of us uh, in one house. Um, so... First off, it was, I don't remember anything from this trip, but I would imagine my parents, every time they talk about it, they're like, oh, that was stressful, and I can imagine why <laughs> that would be stressful to try to plan that. Um, but we took like a, you know, we did like a big family picture, and then this is me, my two sisters, and my dog. I was I was spiffy, though. Look at me. Look at tucked in shirt, no belt, <laughs> Yankee with no pants. brim. You can tell I wore hats because you can s clearly see a tan line on my head. You see that? I'm just looking at the the tremendous amount of the pant coming off of your calves. Yeah, no, that those were shorts. <laughs> those were shorts, and they probably went below my knees. Oh boy. Yeah, no, it was a lot. But look at this dude. Look, I just lost a tooth. I was like, I was so cool. I was clearly sunburnt. So that's a that's a very picturesque Southern family. Yeah, no, it's it, that's the that's the stereotypical yeah. southern tan, white, white dusty, family. you know, uh, light hair, all out blonde, on the beach. yeah, yeah, <laughs> all blue khakis. eyes. So I have some pictures now. You have oh, pictures? Oh, oh, oh. oh not baby pictures, but they, like, you know, your mom. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, my mom came through with the pictures. All right. So I will, I will drop some. All right. While we do that, Joe, do you have another? Uh, I s one, oh, yeah, I one just got delivered, and Man. I just want to note that there has never been a point in my life where I wasn't peeking. I have always been cool, and okay. I have always been the... I was going to say, every picture you're showing right now just proves to me that you're cool. Yeah, well, I'm also <laughs> selecting the pictures that make me look cool. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm selecting uh, just any pictures I had, which typically just make me look like a dorky <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I look child. like in, in many other photos, but... Um, I don't have a lot of photos from middle school. I don't think that was from middle school, but I don't. I don't have a lot of photos from middle school because I just didn't take a lot. Uh, so I, there's probably a big gap. I'm sure there are a few because that's when I had braces. Because I do remember pictures of me having braces, but I, I don't have any of them with me. Did you send some, Marcus? Uh, trying to come through. Not really. <laughs> um, so let's go to one of the worst pictures of me ever. Um, my first day of high school. So it's I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure. Your first day of high school. It'll come eventually. You'll get there. Yeah, it'll come. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. The, uh, it should have come. It, it's, it, <laughs> it, it comes I don't know what happens. This doesn't normally happen to me. <laughs> it no, I don't normally always comes. Um, oh, you have it? Yeah. I, <laughs> I look upset. I don't look happy in this picture. You look like you could be worked into like a diary of a wimpy kid poster <laughs> <laughs> i look like i look like what's his name raleigh R raleigh <laughs> i look like i could have played raleigh because it because like i was i was six four at the time but i just look everything about me i just like i was i was hunched over i had like had shorts that went over my knees i just look very small and like stocky <laughs> yeah the pull-up socks on and the pull-up socks because yeah. i didn't know how to dress myself and those are the shoes that like they had holes in them um, because those are the only shoes I had at the time, and of course they're hideous, by the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the first day of class, I get to my drama class, and I'll never forget this. Um, except for I will forget his name, but he, he also got expelled, so I don't know. But um, 
first day of drama class, we were trying to figure out, like, like we were just like, all right, come up here and just do something. Just do, like, improv something with someone else. You know, like, I would go up there, and then they would say something, and then um, I would stand there, and then someone else would come up and say something oh, to I, me. I think I remember you telling us about this. And he, the first that he just walks up to me and just looks at me, looks down at me, and says, because this was when, this was a thing, he says, what are those? And then walks away, and everyone just started screaming, and I wanted to die. <laughs> so then I got new shoes. No, I was I was upset, even though it shouldn't have been because it's dumb, but still. Oh man. Yeah, this is this is the whole family. Uh, me, mom, dad, John, left or right. Yeah, that's in Paris. Uh, that's yup. That's in Paris. So that's what me. else is in Paris, Joe? Yeah. What else is who's in Paris, Joe? Who is in Paris, well, I Joe? I wouldn't know because I was at the Grand Canyon. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think it's probably like 15 or so. Who's in Paris? My God. No, no, no. no, no, no Gentlemen no, no, no. in Paris. No, no, no. Okay. That was the I Grand. I Sirs. For some reason, my brother looks like a Matrix character. <laughs> well, probably because of the box around his head. <laughs> well, not because of the box around his head. Just because of the haircut, the shades, the yeah, Those the glasses black. are stylish. Yeah. The black in the Grand Canyon, yeah. I don't think the picture wants to send, so y'all will not be seeing any younger pictures of me. Today. All right. Uh, well, then it's just, just you and me. Draw, just draw like a stick figure, and have that be. Like, well, so you can send it to me. Like, <laughs> I, will, or I can just just tell it, just tell us about it, and show or I can us. just show you. Yeah, yeah, just show us. But, well, you so just send it. Try to send it to me though, because I'm gonna put all these in like. Bro, a, you look like uh, like little Bill. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Who looks like what? Like Lil' Bill. You ever seen that show before? Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Your actor description of what it looked like, but... Yeah. I don't remember anything about I wish I could quote that show, but... I don't even remember the theme song. Yeah, I don't remember anything about it, either. That's why... <laughs> Every part, that's funny, though. That's exactly what he looks like, too. All right. So, I, I actually... So, my mom took a picture of every single first day of high school... Um, for me, just to see how I would progress, and there's a stark difference. This, I wasn't in my uniform, because my school had uniforms. I w this picture, I wasn't in my uniform. This was after the first day. I had to go, for my, my church was doing like a directory, and we have to go like take our picture. Um, they, it's basically like a yearbook for churches, and they do it like every five to ten years. Um, that was the day after. So you can see how much I, I changed in one Ooh. year. Yeah, that's, <laughs> was your hair dyed at all? No, it just looks, it was very. Yeah, the, the sides because, look very white. Because the sides were shaved, and um, I was also outside a lot more, and that just makes her hair look lighter. But that's for sure. um, that was the summer that I just like went a not a wall, I went a something, um, and just exercised for like four to five hours every single day, and wow. I lost a lot of weight. And but I looked tiny, like I looked very very small <laughs> in that picture. But that was my first day of sophomore year. Um. Oh, I was about to say, how did I get a girlfriend with that haircut? But I didn't. I remembered I did not. I got a girlfriend with this haircut, which is arguably worse. So that was so basically the sophomore year. And this is going to mostly go into my hair because I changed my hair a lot. I didn't change too much else. Um, so sophomore year, I had that hair and because uh, I just discovered gel. And then one day I was driving with my friend in his Jeep and it was like top down. And I was like, I remember I wasn't enjoying because I love driving with the car with the windows open or the top down. And I remember just thinking all I could think about was, man, my hair is going to be messed up. So I was like, man, I don't want to have to worry about my hair. So I just stopped using gel entirely. And that is what that haircut from sophomore year looks like with no gel in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, it's, it was like swept over. So like that one side that you can see, it, it like went all the way down. But the other side was completely blank. There was nothing. There was shaved. Um, and I also got glasses. Look at how I look at this man, though, as a handsome oh. man. I'm having to go back through my personal photos now. The, the handsome man. More like early high school era. Do I have any? Early, I think I do. I think I have a few. Uh oh. <laughs> no, John just responded to me and said, "I can't believe you've done this." <laughs> For reference, I sent a very ugly picture of my brother when he was 12 uh, to him and said, "Consider this a threat with no context." <laughs> um, while we're waiting on that, we actually, man, we don't have a ton of time. We no, were... yeah, we've we, we've we've only been talking about photos. We haven't even got to talk about like. The other, like anything else about like how we've changed, you know. Uh, okay, let's just go through that because basically my haircut senior year was the same haircut I have now, pr pretty much, except for I didn't have a beard. Mm -hmm. um, 
But this is the um, very famous funeral picture. Um, yeah. Basically, that was the last time I went to Great Clips because they completely screwed up my hair. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you, is, is he, whoever that is next to you looks very pained to be the person next to you. That's my dad. <laughs> That's your dad? You've met him. <laughs> is that what he looked like? Yes. I do not remember that. I mean, he, he rarely gets puts on a tie. So it's I very... remember him being thinner than that. You remember him being what? Thinner than that. I thought you said. Well, he has lost weight. He did. Okay, well, good. That point. that was two years. That was no. Whoa, that was four years ago. So, three to four years ago. So he is definitely he's definitely lost weight from them. But yeah, no, he rarely puts on a tie, and he also he, his hair is shorter now. But he's got a job he's where you have to cut your hair. Bad. But what? I'm, so, I, I'm looking at uh, homecoming. I thought uh, you were roasting my dad. I was like, no, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> like, don't roast my dad. I was roasting myself. But well, that actually, no, I was roasting my kind of girlfriend's parents for taking a bad photo. That, that, that was the very famous funeral picture. And if you're listening, um, follow our YouTube channel, The Smiling Remember Unicorn of Doom on YouTube, because when I edit it, I'm going to put all these pictures in, so you'll see what we're talking about. The, but the funeral picture is the funniest thing that's ever happened in my life, because that, that was the worst haircut I've ever had. Okay. So how have we changed this? Since we're just, I have another picture from like how much I've changed physically from a year ago today, which is I had a beard, like a full beard, and a buzz cut, and I was 35 pounds heavier. So, I, I don't have that picture with me. But, so how, but how have we changed, right? So, Marquez, how, how different were you from, let's say, middle school? Well, middle school to now, I was, uh, I was a lot heavier. <laughs> You're a lot heavier? Yeah, I was heavier. Then I know in, like, eighth grade, I, uh, I decided to grow out like a full head afro. Okay. And I, I kept it for a while. It was pretty nice. I have a video somewhere of me doing like a little skit with my afro. Making fun of, I can't say the word, but yeah. Okay. My headphones just stopped working. So yeah, I, I, but I, I can hear the crackle. You hear buzzing? Yeah, well, I, I, there was like some crackle. Oh, oh okay, okay. It's you can't hear it. Okay, good. Well, as long as you can hear me, but I can't hear you. Okay. I can hear you guys well, yes, through my ear possibly. holes, but not through my, my headphone then, uh, holes. Da, 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 da. I need to tell someone about this, actually. <laughs> then, like, falling apart. I, also didn't, I don't think I was wearing earrings then either because I started doing marching band. Yeah, I didn't start back wearing earrings till. They didn't let you wear earrings in marching band? No, my, no, my band was like, no, you got to take those out. You look different. Take them out. You look different. Well, the goal yeah. in marching band is to look all the same yeah. across the board. Yeah, because when I'm, when I'm up in the stands, I just look down and I'm like, man. That kid has earrings on. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's silly, but I I, I never did much. It's more so. for like the judges who are like on the field. Yeah. It's like oh, for, okay. like competitive purposes. That shows what I know. The only experience I've ever had with marching band is being in the stands of a football game. <laughs> Not. In... I didn't start back wearing earrings until I think my junior year. And I think by then my my holes my holes already closed. So I had to like take it, take somebody else's earring and just go. Stop, man. You didn't do it. You just did it with the. You didn't do it with like a, a, a safety pin or anything like that. You just, just did took, it with an earring. Just took an earring. Was like, I wonder if they stole them. Oh, hey, it's, it goes in. I'm I'm getting earrings. I now. love that <laughs> that sound effect. <laughs> then, because that's not what it sounds like. No, it's not at all. It was a lot more painful. Because the by the way, the um, if you've ever, <laughs> if you've ever um, so basically my sister. My sister um, got earrings, but she went to like the mall, and they had like a. They used to have like stores where that's, yeah. that was on, what you did. Like that was the only part of that store, and I'm sure they sold earrings there. And they they have this like little clipper thing, which they could have used a safety pin, but instead they have this thing. And oh my god, it's like a. Yeah, yeah like it's a, really like, loud. And it's because that's how I initially got my ear experience. It was. It feels like a pinch. It's like really quick. Okay. Because it's like they put up your ear like, they're, okay, I'm about to do it. Okay, go ahead, do it. Bah, bah, uh-huh. Oh, look, my hair is in now. It doesn't hurt as much. But then I also started growing out my hair again. But now I cut my hair off. I am now a young man who is bald. Yeah, and he looks better than me in a buzz cut, which is upsetting to me. Well, <laughs> well you also have waves. I don't. I didn't. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah, I'm smooth. smooth. This is also the look I've but, had for many years. So, like. Yeah, I'm now cousin. you look like. Big Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Older Bill. <laughs> what about you, Joe? How have you changed? Uh, uh, Not even just appearances, just in general. Uh, 
Well, I'm trying to think. I mean, we don't have too much time. Um, I suppose in the, the physical sense, uh, the two primary things is that there's a lot more of me in, okay. in, in many ways, both that I have gained significant weight since a lot like, more, middle school. A lot more to hug. Yeah, and also my hair is long, which right. I have not had my hair long until this year. So when um, was the last time you got a haircut? Um, well, the last time I got a haircut, I got a, I got a haircut over winter break, but it was like a tiny haircut, okay. more just to keep things clean. Like yeah. actual haircut, haircut was probably before quarantine. Oh, okay, nice. So it's it's yeah, the longest it's ever been by a long shot. Uh, I sent one photo to you only because for some reason the way it was sent was weird. But this was what my hair looked like for a long time. This was homecoming, which I think was sophomore June. You had to be. Either, either late, late sophomore or early junior year. Was this the picture you sent to me? Yes, I sent it to you directly. Because you look like thought. you could fit like within the 90s with a haircut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the suit. The suit. No, the suit, yeah. Suit. I, well, that's because it was my dad's suit. But um, no, yeah, I, I, I'm very much so the, the 90s charmer, man. But Of course. Um, very clean. I like that. Um, I don't even know. I mean, I've, I've changed drastically. I mean, like, like you said, I changed a lot over high school, and then I changed a lot last year and a lot this year. Yeah. Like... It's it's hard to keep track of, but um, so before we go, question philosophical question because you know I'm I'm great at those and I love love answering them. Would you from fifth grade like you now? Like what you've become? Fifth grade, or just, I mean, I guess at any point, but I think all ages of me would probably be friends with each other. Okay. I I think probably like I think actually probably fifth grade me and like now me would would be like pretty happy. I think probably variations of middle school and early high school me would be like, yeah, this is what was supposed to happen. Really? Yeah. Cuz actually a lot of things that I wanted that I want now are things that I wanted when I was younger but kind of strayed away from and then have kind of, kind of come back towards. Hmm. So, what about you, Marquez? I think should have asked this question earlier. We, yeah, you probably, we have yeah. like three but minutes. Look, but I think I. Hmm. This is a good question. I just <laughs> yeah, have no. time for it. I, I think younger me would be happy with the person that I kind of turned out to be. Maybe I would I would have liked to be like more involved with certain stuff. But like other other, other than that, you know, I have a great set of friends and stuff like that. So I, I, I think I'd be happy with it. Younger me would hate current me. <laughs> And that's not a joke. Like, they probably would. <laughs> I would I, beat up middle school me. <laughs> I would beat up. Brutally murder middle school me and then just create, like, a paradox and, like, a riff <laughs> in the space-time continuum. <laughs> I will replace middle school me. <laughs> I will become oh, my. With all his with all my knowledge. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time. Um, but thank you guys so much for listening to the Smiling Rainbow Unicorn of Doom. This one wasn't. This one was a, a more introspective episode. A more. F- I think it'll be fun though, especially if you if you were a little confused listening. Go ahead and watch uh, our YouTube channel. It'll be it'll be edited. I've tried to put, just put not edit it, but music it just immediately gets taken down because we have music. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it'll be edited. So it won't be the forty five minutes. It'll probably be like thirty, uh, and it'll have pictures. It'll have a lot of pictures. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll blur out other people's faces, but not sure, sure. But not yours. Well, unless you want me to. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you get to see just how much of studs we are. We were then compared to now, Absolutely. because of course now we are even bigger studs. Yes. Yes. Like Lego studs. Yeah. Le- like, like rock solid. Like, you know, unchanging, unmoving. Yes. Yeah. Foundationally powerful. Yes. Creative inspiration. Thank you guys for listening so much to the Stones. You keep going. (laughs) Really valuable in Lego Star Wars. Thank thank you guys so much for listening to the Smiling Rumble Unicorn of Doom. You guys stay awesome. Halo. (laughs) Peace.